Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome back to Disney's Dreamlight Valley, where today we're hopping in and we are going to be talking a great couple ways for you guys to make some good money right away in the beginning of Disney's Dreamlight Valley playthrough. Um, if you guys want to be able to make a good amount of money in the beginning of the game, this video should really be able to help you guys out. And these are fairly simple things that you can do in order to make some decent money. So the first thing we're going to talk about, guys, is actually the fact that it's raining. I'm just kidding. We're not talking about the fact that it's raining at all. What we're actually going to be talking about is mining. Why do I want to talk about mining? Mining to me is actually a kind of important thing that you can do right away in the beginning of the game because the story right away already points you to go and grab yourself your pickaxe, which is going to end up being right here at the end of this little tiny road right here in the rocks. You pick it up and guess what? Bada bing, bada boom, you have yourself your pickaxe. Now, what can you do with your pickaxe? All around your, your Dreamlight Valley as it is, you're going to find these rock nodes. Now, these rock nodes can have all sorts of things in them, including stone, coal, which more on coal in a little bit, but it could produce precious gems. Now, if we run over to this one, this one you can see the little red gems coming out of here. This is a garnet stone. This garnet stone actually will produce a garnet for you to pick up. Now, this is a fantastic thing for you to get. You go ahead and get yourself a garnet. I just grabbed mine and it happens to be a shiny garnet, which is a rare version of a garnet. And you can see that this sells for over 600 coins. That's a lot in the early game, especially assuming how Goofy's stall to upgrade it takes 500 in the beginning of the game to get its first upgrade. Now, now that we've gotten one way out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about what you're going to need beyond how to go through and get some money and let's talk about what you're going to need in order to actually make the money and like i said that's going to be goofy's stall now goofy's stall is actually super easy for you to unlock as soon as you get your pickaxe you can go right over to the end of these stairs that are right here break some rocks and it will allow you to get access to this area you will go and talk to goofy and then after you talk to goofy he will give you a quest to get his fishing pole and he'll give you a request to finish fixing up his stall because it's fallen apart. Scrooge McDuck will fix Goofy's stall for absolutely free for you. The first upgrade to it, or more or less just building it, is free because you don't really have any money anyway, besides if you cleared some out some night thorns and got a couple coins. But if you were to go up here and now if you were to go to sell to Goofy and you have that now, you could go right here, press sell and sell this shiny garnet for 640 coins, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a great way for you to make some early money Money in the game now I'm going to be giving you guys out some pointers later on in the video as well on some helpful ways to double if not triple some of these ways some of these early ways to make money but now I want to jump over to my next one, which is kind of silly, which is fishing. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, well, Sim, yeah, fishing's going to be important. It's something that you can do in the game. Well, those blue bubbles right there are actually doubly important. So those blue bubbles right there are a very, very good chance for you to get one of the easiest money-making fishes in the game or fish in the game. Fishes? Fish. Fishies. Fishies. One of the best, easiest money-making fishies in the game. Now, fishing is super easy. You need your fishing pole. You get it from Goofy whenever you're going through and getting his quest done and unlocking his stall. You give him a fishing pole. He gives you yours. And then you could go out and start catching breams. These blue bubbles will give you a bream every single time. And these bream are actually worth a ton of money right away in the early game. They're worth 600 a piece. This is a decent amount of money for early game that could actually end up proving to be one of the best ways for you to make money long term in the game is fishing. Now what another little tip that not a lot of people know about and this is a little bonus for you. Uh, you see these bubbles? You can fish through all of these bubbles. They're going to give you all sorts of different kinds of fish and there's always a chance for the yellow and the white ones to give you a bream as well but it's just a lot more rare. I've had it happen to me but you actually don't need to fish in these bubbles. You can actually fish right here if you wanted to and sooner than later your barber will actually go down and you'll be able to start catching random things most likely they're going to be cheap things from the water like a bass bass do not make you that much money to be honest in truth they're just 25 but if you're just sitting there waiting for some blue fish to come back you can go there and just cycle fishing into nothing and be able to get out these other fish that you can sell 
So there's a little tip for you guys with fishing. Now, we run, you can run right back over to Goofy and once again, sell those to make yourself a little bit more money. Now, before we get on to the other two ways that you can make money, I want to go through and talk a little bit more about why you're going to need so much money in Disney's Dreamlight Valley. Okay, so the first reason you're going to need money in Disney's Dreamlight Valley is you're going to need to upgrade your inventory space. You only start with these three bars of inventory space, which is only 20 21 inventory slots, okay? You unlock another one, you get 28, which is 5,000 coins to unlock your first upgrade to get to 28 slots, but your next expansion is going to cost you 20,000 coins, and they only get more expensive from there, so making money in this game is a huge necessity. Okay, what else could you use in order to make money? Well, there's actually a couple different things. There's going to be shop upgrades that you can get, like if I wanted to come over here and upgrade Scrooge McDonald's store to allow him to have more items and things okay. like that i'm gonna go ahead and say okay i'd like to invest in your shop and it's ten thousand for the first upgrade to his shop that is very very expensive for you to be able to do an upgrade and if you're just going around and clearing night thorns there's going to be a long time before you're able to get this upgrade so perhaps another time scrooge mcduck i got 11 grand but i don't want to do that next but speaking of scrooge mcduck we're going to hop right on inside of his store here and we're going to talk about other things that you can get inside of a store that are incredibly expensive. For instance, this jacket, that's 1500 This cutoff shirt, that for some reason is 12,000 coins for you to get this cutoff shirt. Maybe you guys want these, this nice, uh, set of pants over here shorts i think that they are yes they look like a skirt and shorts together though it's, that's almost seven thousand coins for you to get so it's very expensive for you to go through and get any of these items two thousand for a hat if you want some rings it's 1800 some boots ah, those aren't badly priced at only 300 or a backpack that's eleven thousand coins so that will tell you guys why it's so important for you to go through and make up a bunch of money also another little tidbit for you guys as well about why you should be making money as well is when you want to build new villagers houses they can cost anywhere between 5,000 and 10,000 coins that I have found so far through playing through and unlocking everybody's houses so far so you're gonna need a lot of coins in this game so go out and use these tips that I'm giving you to help you guys make even more money now this thunderstorm definitely does not want to let up so I'm not going to be letting up and giving you guys more tips and tricks on how to make some money and the next one is going to be farming now farming is super duper important for you to be able to make a ton of easy money in the game but i want to show you guys one of my advanced tips for you in order to make even more money when it comes to all of the things that i'm telling you except for the last tip but the first three that i've given you are definitely going to help you guys out and what is that advanced tip bring a friend Bringing a friend is super important when it comes to farming. So I'm going to go ahead and ask Mickey to hang out. You need to get him to two level stars or level two friendship in order for him to actually want to come and hang out with you. But once you get him to come and hang out with you, you're going to unlock the ability to select a skill for that person. And the one you want to select is farming we'll get more into the other ones in just a moment but let's start with farming so you're going to select farming i'll give you guys the complete breakthrough of how to select that in just a moment but you're going to select farming and then you're going to come over here and you're going to start doing some farming so i'm going to go through and i'm going to start holding my harvest button and i'm going to start harvesting and you're going to see that all of a sudden one mickey's getting all of these hearts over here but two he's going to randomly come up behind you and throw out whatever you're harvesting as well out onto the ground for you now if you get these orange ones you're going to want to stop and run around and collect them as soon as you can because these ones disappear but the blue ones you can leave until later on when you're done harvesting so let's go through and finish doing this harvesting that we have here. You can see I have planted a ton of vegetables and we'll get more into what vegetables you should be planting and which ones you shouldn't plant, but more on that in just a second. So I'm going to go through. I haven't picked up any of the other ones besides the orange ones and show you guys that I have harmed up a ton, but look at all the extra carrots that are on the ground just because I brought a friend. 
Now, let's go through and talk what crops you should be planting while I'm finishing this harvest. So first of all, what you guys can see here is I'm using carrots. Carrots are the best way for you to get money early in the game. They're going to be the most efficient way that you can get early in the game. The second one is going to be tomatoes, but you need to unlock the beach in order to get that. So we're not really going to talk about tomatoes, but carrots is what you're going to need to be able to get. Now, if we look at my inventory right now, minus the couple that I got, so let's say minus 10 that I got before, I planted a total total of 90 carrots in the ground and with that with those 90 carrots Mickey went ahead and gave me a ton more so I had 94 carrots before after I pick up all the ones that Mickey threw onto the ground for me here whoops I accidentally just planted another carrot on the ground ah stop doing that um pick up the carrot please thank you all right let's get these picked up right here very nice when they stop growing, you actually are glowing. You have to go through and manually pick them up. It's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. All right, pick this up, pick this up, pick this up. Very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Okay. So, now that I've picked up all those extra carrots, I now have 127. So, he literally gave me another 30-some carrots for me, uh, just right there, easy peasy, right off the bat, able for me to be able to get even more money, just like that, just by bringing a friend with me. Now... What I would suggest you guys do is get a fairly large farm field in the beginning of the game. You could go through and build out quite the farm for yourself. I would suggest at least four rows going down in front of Goofy's house. That's going to be a good amount of money. You can see that I have six rows here. This is bound to be a ton of money for me. And how do we make money with these? Well, each carrot that you want to buy is 10 coins. In order to buy carrots from Goofy, you need to get the second stall upgrade, but that's super easy. If you just do a little bit of mining and a little bit of fishing, that's why I started off with those two before we hit farming. So if we go through and buy here, you can see that a bag of carrots or carrot seeds is only 10 coins. Now, what are they sell for each carrot actually goes through and sells for 44 so you literally make 34 coins every time you harvest a carrot that's why i'm saying it's so it's worth so much money for you to not only have a large farm but to bring a friend with you because then you're literally just making free money on top of your money so i'm gonna go ahead and sell up all of my carrots here so 27 carrots is worth 5588 coins this is an awesome amount of money early in the game especially though you can literally build a house for that and that's one round of harvesting so you go through you sell them you buy the carrots and all of that now the bonus to doing it with a friend is also the friendship bonus points that you're going to be getting and leveling up your friends can also give you extra money extra items things for your house clothing things like that as well as designs for making your own custom clothing but what else can you do to help up your friends? You can literally go through and plant seeds. As you can see, that gives Mickey a little star right there. And then also, if you just go through and you water your plants as well with them here, you can also get another star, more or less more friendship experience with Mickey. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell Mickey that I don't wanna hang out anymore. So I'm gonna say uh, bye, let's hang out later. See you later, Mickey, because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Remy and show you guys how you can actually pick your skill that you want to have for your friends. So, Remy, come over here really quick. I'd like to talk to you. So, the first thing you guys can see is that friendship is locked. I cannot hang out with him because he's not level two. So, I'm going to get him to level two. So, the first thing I'm going to say is teach me about baking. I'm actually going to talk to Remy because talking to your friends gives you a huge boost in friendship points. Say it's all about the pay. Pastries. I'm going to try to push my pastry game in the restaurant. There's a lot more that he's going to say here. Say I like croissants. So you tell him that. And then he says, okay, that's great. We're going to do all sorts of things and I'm going to start making them. But you see all of those stars you're getting? That's from just talking to him. The other thing you could do is you could just give him gifts. If you were to go back and talk to him again, you could go ahead and give him a gift and say, here you go. His favorite gifts are going to be coconut, ice cream, okra, and fish tacos. I currently don't have any of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and give him, mm, let's say, an apple. I'm going to give him an apple. I almost have him to two stars already, and I haven't done anything besides build Remy's house and restaurant for him. So I'm going to go through and talk to him again and I'm say I'm going to have something for you. And this time I'm just going to go ahead and give him that bass. And there you go. I now have two stars with Remy. So in other words, two friendship levels. So now Remy has leveled up and I have gotten the ability to select what 
um, what friendship bonus I want to get for him, a.k.a. the role that he has and what bonus he's going to give me for running around. This is why I said that having a friend with you is so important. Selecting gardening is how I got Mickey to be able to give me so much extra stuff when it came to gardening, when it came to harvesting up those crops. Fishing is how you actually can get two to three extra fish whenever you're pulling out fish from the water. So like if I was to go through and have, say, Remy with me and I select and fishing for him when I was to catch a bream there's a chance that he's actually going to pull a second one out instead of making that fish only worth 600 that time of fishing is now worth 1200 for you giving you even more money mining works exactly the same as well for you to be able to make some money it would literally give you double the garnets or double the precious gems whatever you're mining up but I'm going to go ahead and just select gardening because I like gardening because it's the easiest way to build friendship points and building friendship points for your friends is absolutely crucial to later game things. I'll talk more about that in another video. So I'm going to just go ahead and select gardening for now and then we're going to run right up to Remy's stop to talk about the last thing that you can do in order to make some money in Disney's Dreamlight Valley. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys the outside of the restaurant as it is. This is what Chez Remy looks like when you first build his restaurant for him. I'm going to go ahead and give him a quick upgrade because I love his restaurant. And as you build it bigger, it looks even better. So let's go ahead and get that upgrade done. This is not needed for you to be able to do this tip and trick, guys. I'm just saying that now. I just like doing it because, well, why not? Ratatouille is one of the best um, movies out there that is animated. But let's hop in here and let's talk a little bit more about the last thing, and that is cooking. Now, you're going to need Remy's shop in order to be able to do, like, tier 3 cooking, but you can start off by doing some simple cooking um, and getting some simple recipes, because cooking is a fantastic way for you to make a little bit of money. So, for instance, if I was to come over here and drop these raspberries in here, raspberries are absolutely free for you to get. And if you're going around doing a lot of mining anyway, you're going to be getting a lot of coal. That is why I said in the early part of the video that coal is important, which is why mining is so important, which is why I started with it. But let's go ahead and just throw in some raspberries here and press start cooking. What this is going to do is this is going to end up making you some fruit salad. It's nice and easy. You can go ahead and sell this fruit salad. If you go over into your inventory, you can check the prices there. A fruit salad sells for 25. Every raspberry sells for 25. One. So is that four really worth it? Not really. Um, but if you were to go through and unlock Remy's restaurant like I have, you could come over here and say, buy some butter. Okay. And if you were to buy one butter, let me show you guys what you can make with just a little bit of stuff. So if you were to go through and take some butter and toss it in here and some wheat and toss it in here and then say, I don't know, let's just throw an apple in there. Okay. Three stars cooking because there's three items. I'm going to press start cooking here. And we're going to take a little bit of a peek here. I have made myself an apple pie. This is a tier three recipe and tier three recipes sell for a decent amount of money. Let's go ahead and look at it. So first of all, a single apple is going to sell for 25 and a single grain is actually a single wheat, I think sells for 12, I think is what it sells for. And butter is 190. But if you were to go through and look at this, it's literally 303. So it ends up being way more money that you're going to be getting if you can go ahead and just do this and make yourself a little bit more stuff. Now with apples being free and berries being free, you can make a ton of pies and sell a bunch of pies. So cooking is my last tip for you guys. Now having a friend around for cooking doesn't really help that much but nonetheless it is going to be super important for you guys to go out and do some cooking because you guys can sell your recipes to make a fairly decent amount of money right away in the beginning of the game for you guys now i hope that this video was helpful for you guys if it was i want you guys to go ahead and hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below if you guys have any other helpful tips and tricks to make some early money in games i'm trying to keep you guys from having to just run around and harvest night thorns all the times or waiting for friendship bonuses only in order to make money. I'm trying to get you guys the most efficient that you can to be able to make a lot of money early game in Disney's Dreamlight Valley. But thank you guys all so much. I really appreciate all you guys. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.